Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Well, situation on the euro currency is rather calm, so uh, probably it will hardly happen something uh, curious and outstanding until FMC meeting that will should happen and will happen on, on uh, tomorrow. Well, you can see market still stands calling around the weekly pivot point. So yes, the market has done an attempt to test the weekly pivot point. Now market still stands below uh, the monthly pivot resistance one area. Well, our suggestion is was uh, was that market probably will try to reach the weekly pivot resistance one, but as it hasn't happened yet, and uh, tomorrow we will already will get the FMC array decision. Well, probably um, hardly it will happen during today trading session. Well, I think that if it will happen, it will be the part of some first move to the upside or it will never happen if market will uh, show the significant plunge down. As we said uh, and we have discussed within the previous couple of weeks that market stands at the eve of something of, some, of something significant and probably uh, tomorrow some significant move uh, will wait us. Well uh, I think that market can't stand with uh, some chop and sloppy action for the long period and something should happen maybe it will happen tomorrow as I said on forum guys I, I do not want to call you to take any position currently because this will be more as a gambling because when the market will choose the direction we will have a lot of time to take the position in the direction of the potential uh, acceleration of the price but if uh, that was some sort of the Sport betting, uh, some sort of the uh, sport, sport competition uh, gambling. Um, in this case, probably I will take a bet on the upward acceleration because, uh, as I said in the weekly research and previously we have discussed it already, that here we see some something strange in the current action. It's not quite bearish de uh, development, although uh, previously it has looked like the perfect bearish pattern but when the market doesn't show the development as pattern suggests it, it means that market is ready something is preparing something different and that will be a bit curious for many traders and I suspect that this could become really a fast acceleration to the upside this could happen well but let's wait just it's not much time rest until the major event maybe uh, at least I'd not see any others of the same significant events around. So probably uh, if something should happen, it has the great chances to happen tomorrow. Well, on the daily time frame, unfortunately, I can't add more because no patrons, uh, no other some interesting moments exist now. So I'd not see any reasons for trading currently on the daily time frame. On the four-hour time frame chart, we see in fact the same picture. Here there are two significant moments for us. First of all, is this short-term line trend line, and you could call it as the parallel channel. We also have drawn it previously as the channel. But most significant for us is that trend line, weekly pivot points. You can see market coiling around, and I think that is it will continue coiling until rate decision, because hardly any investor will take risk currently to for active active trading in such environment. You can see this is confirmed by the candles that now is forming are forming on the euro currency. They're very small uh, with the long shadows. No, in fact, no activity currently on the euro currency. The second moment is that market shows the upper direction while MACD stands flat. That theoretically could be either bearish divergence, but um, I don't like such sort of divergence, especially to rely on them when the divergence is forming without any patrons, without any sign of the exhausting and not at the significant resistance or overbought. 
In this case, the divergences are very suspicious. And that also keeps the uh, mind open to treat this divergence not, at the, not as a divergence, but as the bullish dynamic pressure, long-term dynamic pressure. Well, uh, because when the trend stands flat or even with some downward action, market continue to form high highs and high lows. Uh, that probably could be the sign of the hidden power. But uh, the expectation of the significant fundamental event could skew the technical picture that we see uh, many times before. Mm, that's why it's very mm, could be a very expensive uh, issue trying to find and trade any patrons in the such sort of the environment that market now stands in. Well, as I said, the safest way is just to wait. But in the very short term perspective, whether we'll take a look on the hourly time frame, here what we could get in the nearest uh, time frame. Well, uh, as you can see, market hasn't quite tested the weekly pivot point, so that could happen today, and that could happen by the butterfly. Because here you can see market is forming bearish dynamic pressure, short term bearish dynamic pressure, that could assume the taking out of these lows, the market creeping down with the bullish MACD predictor line, stands above it, showing the bullish trend, but creeping down. Well, um, the market really could show, for instance, the retesting of this lower board of this channel, of this support line, and simultaneously test the weekly pivot point by completing all that 127 butterfly pattern that could happen but um, I can't I can't say for sure because this you can see very choppy and uh, blur action currently it's just what maybe market will show because the fun, uh, the uh, foundation for this pattern exists that probably could happen in the very short term perspective but I do not know whether you will trade it or not because my thought is just better to wait a couple of sessions uh, and trade later than tr trying now to catch any uh, bit blur setups on the market and the very thin market where the activity is almost stands at zero. Well, that's my current view on the euro currency. Uh, let's see what will happen tomorrow. Well, probably if market will not show any action during today and will not form any short-term patterns in the nearest future. Yesterday we will, uh, tomorrow we will take a look as well on some another uh, currency pair. Maybe this will be the Japanese yen. Well, maybe we'll find some uh, something there that will be more interesting than currently on the euro currency.